Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. Before I uh, head to bed for the night, I just wanted to do some quick upcoming vlogs uh, for the next um, week uh, or so. Anyway, it's not going to take long because... Ironically, most of the vlogs I'm going to be doing are all going to be next week. So today is Monday, July 18th, and since and it's technically late at night, but it's whatever. And uh, since um, I'm going to be, you know, going out of town next week, and that's when I'm going to be doing most of my vlogs, it makes mo mo the most sense, I should say to go ahead and uh, just mention that a lot of the vlogs I want to do are all going to be next week. So, with that being said, as far as my upcoming vlogs is concerned, uh, we're looking at uh, Monday, July 25th through Thursday, July 28th, something to that extent. I'm going to be out in Dollywood, uh, we are, me and my close friends, that is, are planning on making a, a special trip over to Gatlinburg and, uh, well, just Gatlinburg in general, maybe on the Monday. Uh, also, we're going to hit a Bucky's on the way down, because uh, one of my friends has never been to Bucky's in her life, and she would really like to see it. So we're definitely going to make sure of that. But yeah, there's a lot we're going to be doing. Uh, Dollywood, for one thing, uh, I'm going to be going for the very first time, so I'm really looking forward to YouTubing that. I'm uh, going to hopefully check out the island, uh, the Titanic Museum. Uh, we're going to be staying in a motel, so I'll definitely be doing a lot of my YouTubing in there. And since I have my own private room, I'm going to be bringing my Chromebook with me, so that way I can YouTube in the motel room. That way I'm not just YouTubing while I'm on the go. I'm YouTubing in my motel room. And that way I have my editing tool with me while I'm on the go. Because I like to bring my Chromebook whenever I travel. I'm going to be packing up next Sunday. So a week from yesterday. And um, while um, I'm... Uh, well, how should I put this? So the Sunday, or next Sunday, I'm going to be doing something with Katie and Ellie, and then I'm going to be heading back home early so I can go home and pack up my stuff, and then I've got to be uh, at my uh, friend's house by about 8 o'clock in the morning or so, maybe 9 in the morning at the absolute earliest or latest, I should say. And that way we can... Uh, head up the road. Uh, it will take about four hours to get to uh, Dolly, well, Pigeon Forge, I should say. So, if we leave by nine in the morning, that will get us to, um, if we don't stop, that is, we will get to Pigeon Forge by about one o'clock. Now, we are planning on stopping after an hour or so. I would say we're going to be there by about 2 o'clock. And we are planning on going straight to Gatlin Burke. If everything goes well. But we always had the option of going on the Thursday. I am so sorry. I'm going to get. No, I'm not going to get very much sleep tonight. I'll tell you that right now. So if I think I'm tired now. Wait till the morning. Because I'm going to get less than 6 hours of sleep. Because I promised Katie I would pick her up in the morning. But. We'll get to that in a little bit. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a fun week. I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. Um, I've never been to Gatlin Burger Pigeon Forge in my life, and I would like to go and uh, YouTube this before Christmas time because I really want to, uh, you know, see for myself what everything is like and find out exactly like what I'm up against if that makes any sense so I think that would be a lot of fun and uh, then I can get lots of pictures that way uh, the following week starts 40 days and 40 nights of gospel music at the Ark Encounter I am currently off Monday August the 1st and then that Saturday now what I would like to do is I would like to 
have Wednesday off instead. That way I can have be off the same day as this is Katie, and we could be off Wednesday and Saturday together. I did mention to her, why don't we go to Lexington on Saturday, and she said, well, I would like to go before that, but I already have plans with Tristan on Friday, Uncle Trissy, but in the event that he unfortunately bails again for the upteeth time, then not only am I going to give Katie Godiva chocolate uh, cheesecake, but I'm from the Cheesecake Hat Factory because it's gluten-free, but I'm also going to go to Lexington with her instead. But I had already made Tristan you know, a promise that I was going to go to Lexington first with him foremost. And, you know, if all else fails, I'll just go with Katie instead because she has to go anyway. And I know she would like my company, but she respects the fact that Tristan wants to do something with me. Of course, if I do go to Lexington, I will have to drive all the way down to Georgetown by myself, leave my car at his place, but he'll drive me from there to Lexington. <laughs> That's usually how it works. Now, I have not been to Georgetown in forever because Caitlin Aubrey no longer lives in Georgetown. She moved to Williamstown area. So I haven't been to Georgetown a long time. Now, I still know where I'm going because I've been to that area enough times and every time I've gone, I've tried to go visit Tristan, but he's always been busy with something. And I have no idea what time Tristan wants to go to Lexington at. So that's another question I have. Like, okay, I know you're off on Friday, but, like, what time do you want to go to Lexington? I know he wants to take me to this biblical mini golf, and maybe we'll do something for lunch or something. But it's hard to say. You never know with him. I mean, it would be nice to hang out with him again outside of work. Um, I know he, there's a lot of stuff that he's wanted to talk to me about, and I like to talk to him a lot too. But you guys know me. I have a very strong relationship with Katie, and I love spending ev as much free time with her as I possibly can. And I love having the same days off of her, so I think that says a lot. But, yeah, I um, just spent the... Uh, day with her um on sunday we uh well ironically she was supposed to do a race today or yesterday i should say so i had uh put myself down as unavailable at work forever in advance thinking she's gonna be doing a race and i didn't find out until about a week or two ago that she wasn't going to be doing a race anymore because of the uh, fact that she forgot to uh sign up for it and I'm kind of glad she didn't because her legs have not been the greatest. But that's okay. So, <clears throat> well, she had originally asked me when I barely knew her, like, on a personal level, that is. And I was more or less agreeing to it to be polite versus now I'm like, oh, yeah, of course I would do that for you because I've been dating her over a month now. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> But uh, we had talked about it a couple of weeks ago, and she was like, well, I'm off that day, too. We can still do something. I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. And she had been talking about wanting to go to Dave & Buster's forever, and I'm like, well, I'm going to make that happen for you no matter what. So after church was over, I came home, and she met me at my parents' house, and uh, we immediately went over to Red Robin for lunch, and she bought us a Munster burger and we shared that and then we each got these chips that she really really likes and then we each got a water and then I drove her over to uh Dave and Buster's afterwards to the Florence location I figured it's the closest why not and um and I figured it's her first time I should start her off small and I didn't really have a lot of money anyway so I uh, bought 275 chips for uh, $45, which I thought was a lot, and I figured the two of us could equally share that over the next two hours or so, and I did make it last two hours, as impressive as it is. Did she choose to spend $50 as well? Yes. I mean, she only spent $5 more than I did, so, I mean, between the two of us alone, just at Dave & Buster's, I would say we spent about $100, and I thought that was very impressive in itself. 
and she still wanted to go and spend more. I'm like, dang, girl. I mean, two hours in David Buster's is actually not bad. And um, it was like about 3 o'clock, and she's like, I don't really want to go home yet. And I said, well, I happen to have this email for uh, free nachos or a free appetizer. So we, uh, well, I said, well, no matter what, I really, and I mentioned we could do the aquarium, and she's like, yeah, sure, why not? So, because we haven't been since our first date over a month ago, so... We uh, sat down, each got a water, and uh, I um, asked her, she she asked me, like, what kind of appetizers do you, can you get? And I said, any of them. It's just good for today. So uh, we looked it over, and we decided to get the nachos. So we had to make sure they were gluten-free, and then we got everything on the side. So I just kind of got my own plate and poured all the uh, toppings on top of my uh, nachos, I ate maybe a small plate and a half, not much. Uh, we still left a good chunk of it. I mean, it was free anyway. I wouldn't pay for it personally, but it was okay. I'm glad I didn't take a picture of it, though. But anyhow, um... Yeah, it was, um, you know, kind of nice just being able to sit there. And it gave us an excuse to stay there a little longer. Uh... We didn't even leave there until about 4 o'clock, so we were still there a good three hours. I mean, one hour of it was just sitting there eating and drinking water. So then we drove over to the Newport Aquarium. Well, first we stopped at Speedway so she could get some Pepsi for herself. And then we um, went over to, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah. New for Aquarium. So she introduced me to the parking garage that she used the last time. And I'm really glad that she told me about this because this could save me so much money in the future. So your very first hour, no matter what, is going to be free. As long as you keep it within an hour, it's free no matter what. And I might start using that parking garage from this point forward instead of going over the public street. And it's safer this way. I much rather use a parking garage any given day. I mean, I've been using parking garages at Universal for as long as I can remember. So if that is anything, then Disney Springs, I use parking garages over there too. And I trust those very much. Uh, the only catch with Disney Springs is you have to make sure your car is out of the parking garage before 3 in the morning. Or they will tow your car. And that's at Reedy Creek's expense. Not Disney's Reedy Creek's. <laughs> I know Disney owns Reedy Creek or has a partnership with them. And I know there's all this craziness going on about Reedy Creek right now. But, you know. But, anyways... So, now I know where um, the uh, parking garage is and the fact that it's basically in the same exact building as the AMC Theater of Newport on the Levee, which is basically where it's at. So, I found it was actually a lot easier to park there, not to mention, and more convenient and quicker. So, we took the elevator up and it happened to drop us over by this arcade, so we walked over around there for a couple of minutes and... Then we uh, went past the Cold Stone Creamer and we got up by the aquarium and Keith stopped dead in our tracks. I'm like, why, why are we start dead in our tracks? I didn't realize how busy the aquarium was going to be today. So I'm a bit of a rebel, if you guys don't know me. And I usually, like with the aquarium today, I just was straight up walked inside without making a reservation in advance because I just never thought about the fact that we needed to nor have I really cared to be honest because I'm just like yeah I'm an annual pass holder I shouldn't have to and Katie is a lot better of a person than me she's my better half and uh, she has go and make reservations of course we were able to go right in we still walked around twice but it was still hard to appreciate it because it was just so busy today I thought it was busy on Thursday. It was so much worse today. I was like, what the crap? But I was still very happy that the two of us got to enjoy the aquarium and the fact that we were together for the first at the aquarium for the first time in over a month because 
I've now officially been three times. Uh, one of those times was with her. Actually, two of those times was with her. Uh, one of those times was by myself, and then she's been four or five times now. And two of those times have been with me, and the other times have been with friends or by herself. So, yeah, she's definitely been a good amount of times this year. And uh, as I said, I was planning on using it a lot. The annual pass, that is next one or so. I'm definitely going to get my money's worth for sure. And I'm also really glad that she convinced me to get the annual pass today. Because just a daily ticket alone today, just for my age, would have been $30. Or something crazy like that. The annual pass was 60 I went on a slow day when it was like, the tickets were like, what, $20 or something like that. So I've definitely gotten my money's worth because if I've already been three times, I basically have already paid for the annual pass. I, w I believe so. Anyway, I mean, it's definitely worth getting an annual pass for that place, especially if you live locally. If you are just like visiting... That's different, but if you live locally and you plan on going back again, then yeah, definitely get the annual pass. And I say the same thing about the zoo, because I told Katie, the time I like to go to the zoo the most is during Christmas time, because I absolutely love the lights. That is like my favorite time of the year to go to the zoo. And I just period love the zoo, and I especially love going with her. She loves animals, and just going with somebody who appreciates animals makes you want to go even more. Because if you love somebody enough, then you want to do, you know, that thing with them that much more. And I know Kay and Vanita have complained in the past, TJ never considered getting an annual pass for this place until, you know, he started dating so-and-so. And, yeah, I can say the same thing about myself. I never would have considered getting a Newport Aquarium annual pass until I started dating Katie, so... I don't know what they're complaining about. I mean, sometimes relationships do change people, and sometimes it's for the better, and sometimes it's for the worst. So, it's just, you know, that sort of thing. By the way, I'm excited to announce that I officially have 221 subscribers, which is super exciting. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I went to see the stadium tour back last Friday night, and oh my word, that was so amazing, but so stinking loud. It has taken my ears a couple of days to uh, fully recover from the uh, insanity. So I would assume that my ears probably need at least a week before they fully recover. I would not be surprised in the slightest. Also... Last Thursday, I went to Kings Island. I rode Orion for the very first time. I've lost 35 pounds ever since uh, I started trying to lose weight back at the beginning of the year. And as you guys saw, I was able to easily get that green light by myself. I'm actually wearing a shirt that hasn't been able to fit me in a long time, so that's really nice. And um, I also w walked around Soak City and uh, vlogged that for my very first time and just saw the place for my very first time. Unfortunately, I ended up going to Danny's birthday party with a massive migraine, not to mention I just was period overheated. So I wasn't much fun. I wish I could have just gone straight to my brother's place, but I felt obligated to go because I had made her a promise. So I was like, yeah, I'll just go anyway. But, yeah, otherwise, uh, just a quick reminder, uh, next week just expect a lot of vlogs from me regarding Dollywood and Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, all that. And then shortly after that, uh, I'll be uh, covering 40 Days and 40 Nights. Uh, I know for sure August the 1st, if nobody wants to take my shift on the Wednesday that week. So instead, I'll, on August the 1st, I'm going to go to the Christian Museum first, then to the Ark Encounter, and I'm going to YouTube both places. I'm going to do two separate vlogs, because the Ark Encounter is way bigger, and just show you guys what they're doing for 40, 40, 40 days and 40 nights, in other words. I figured it's the day before, I might as well go do all the coverage, and that way you guys can finally go see the completion of, of the uh, character carousel that they're working on at the Ark Encounter. It should be done by the end of the month. So, if... 
if and when I go, that, well, I shouldn't say if, but when I go is really more uh, words, because I'm very sure I'm going to be going on August the 1st, but we will see. You guys will definitely see the carousel completed and running and receiving guests, so that'll be extremely exciting, and I've been intentionally trying to keep everything about the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum off of YouTube until 40 Days and 40 Nights practically started and the carousel was completed. That way I can start vlogging right when all the excitement is happening. And I feel like August is like the beginning of the exciting time of the Ark Encounter. Because, yeah, even though we just had summer, just the fact that a lot of our exciting events start in August. We have 40 Days and 40 Nights. And then we have Dia Latino in October. And then November is when we first start putting up the Christmas lights. And then you guys know how much I love to vlog both Christmas Town and Christmas Time every single year. So it's always something I look forward to vlogging every single year. So, yeah, I mean, I personally feel like I'm going to vlog at the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum at a, a decent time this year because honestly there really isn't much or there hasn't really been much to vlog at either location this year other than just the odd construction and even then it's not like I'm really able to vlog it anymore because of the fact that um they don't really like it and then not to mention, I've been working so much, it's just, it's getting to the point where I'm getting kind of burned out, just being at the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum, and on my days off, I didn't want to do anything but be at either location, and if I absolutely have to be there, then, you know, that's one thing, but to, you know, go there voluntarily, I'm just like, mm. I'm already working like five, six days a week as it is, and I really just don't want another excuse to go to either location, even if it's on my day off. So, I mean, I don't mind wearing the gear for it, but it's another thing to actually go there on your day off. Like, today, for example, could I have gone? Yeah, of course. Did I want to? Not really, no. I was like, yeah. I mean, I'm aware I get the free entry, but that doesn't mean I need to go, if that makes any sense. I'm... I was perfectly happy with everything I did today. I went to Dave & Buster's. I went to the new Pork Aquarium. And to me, that was great. So, And I'm looking forward to taking advantage of my staff pass next week anyway when I go to Dollywood and Pigeon Forge and all that fun stuff. That's what I feel like the staff pass is for. For all that crap. Not for me being able to go to the Ark and kind of the Creation Museum whenever I feel like it. That kind of deal. But... Anyhow, um, I don't really have anything planned after early August until mid-September. That's when I'm going to Florida for that wedding. Uh, the plan is I'm going to Universal on the... Hold on. I I have a, my calendar up here. I think I had it all planned out. So, the wedding is on September 17th. I was wanting to do Disney, actually, on September 16th, and then do Universal on September 18th, because I'm leaving Monday on the 19th. So, with that being said, I figured I could go hit up Epcot on the Friday and go ride Co Cosmic Rewind for my very first time, as well as vlog and all that fun stuff. And then on the Sunday, just go walk around Universal and see what's going on over there. Uh, I also promised Katie I would bring her back a Harry Potter wand, a Hermione Granger interactive wand to be specific. I personally don't use the wands, but I don't mind buying it for my girlfriend. That's fine. Otherwise, it is almost 12.30 in the morning. I'm going to be lucky if I get five hours of sleep tonight. I am so tired. I probably will fall asleep within two minutes. I'm going to try using my uh, sleep tracker app tonight because... I have been forgetting the past couple of days, but it's fine. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ's strength and you. 
Have a great night. Peace out.